Big Announcements and Things I Have to Ask Myself. March 6, 2019 by Anna Von writes. I have to ask myself, if my house were burning down, would I care who brought me the news in time to save it? No, they could be an alcoholic communist cyclops, and I wouldn't care less. If I were the heir of a gigantic fortune, would it matter who told me the news? No, I'd probably be stunned, and then act like all those people who win the publisher's clearing house sweepstakes. Just as we know that the Satanists among us always accuse their enemies of doing what they are themselves doing, we also know that they attack the messengers to draw attention away from the message. Yeah, your house is burning down, but did you smell beer on that guy's breath? What I am suffering through right now is just Satanism du jour. This kind of character assassination and reckless lying about multiple things all at once is what these deep state reptiles are famous for. We can't change them. We can only change ourselves. And learn to think for ourselves. And recognize them for what they are. Much of what I have had to tell you has not been pleasant. Who wants to know that our beloved country has been grossly defrauded in breach of trust and that our people have been enslaved for six generations? Instead of living in the land of the free, we have been shanghaied and left adrift at sea by our own employees. We've been living under a British-controlled military junta since the 1860s, a United States version of the Raj in India. Who wants to face up to that? Who wants to hear that our own employees, people taking their paychecks from our pockets, have been planning and preparing for another civil war, and their entire purpose is to kill us off, so that they and their other creditors won't have to pay us back for what they have already stolen from us. That's the house on fire message. The bucket brigade is forming. The fire department has been called. But then, there's the other message, too. You are all heirs to an unimaginable fortune. You own controlling interest in all the Fortune 500 corporations. You own vast quantities of gold. All the land and soil of this country, all the surface and groundwater, all the public infrastructure, belongs to you. You own Wall Street, the banks, the New York Stock Exchange. You own the Federal Reserve Banks. You own all the municipal and territorial corporations in this country and most such corporations worldwide. Why? They have all been chartered by the rats in your name, via abuse of your patent office. To be sure, they didn't mean for you to ever actually benefit from any of this, but as it turns out, now that you woke up, now that you remember who you are, you hold the keys and the titles. You still have to come forward. You still have to make the effort to douse the flames and reclaim your birthright. You still have to wake all the way up and take action in your own behalf. I and many others saved you the option to save your house and your inheritance. Millions upon millions of Americans are eligible to come home and take charge again, because of us. But it's your call. You can stand on the lawn and watch your house burn. You can abandon your birthright and be left with nothing. You can be misled and distracted. Those of us who know the history and see the logic, and who know what has to be done and how to do it, are migrating home to the land and soil and organizing the American States Assembly. We are assembling the actual geographically defined states of the Union. No franchises of commercial corporations here. We are clearing our decks and recording our political status so we can act in our lawful capacity to do this work. We are all lawful persons. Not legal persons. We are going to finish the so-called reconstruction and recharter our missing federal states of states. Ultimately, we are going to convene a continental congress. We have left behind all presumptions of federal citizenship obligations and are proud to be plain old American state nationals and American state citizens. We are hosting a Monday night countrywide teleconference beginning March 11th. We will be pre-screening questions you may want to send in for us to answer on the show and taking limited call-ins. For now, you can send questions to American States Assembly at my email, ivanovon at gmail.com. Please give us a good solid contact email so we can get back to you if clarification is needed. There will be a one-hour open session each week. I won't be moderating, but I and other members of the Living Law Firm will be present and available. The open session is for everyone who wants or needs more information, including U.S. citizens who need to know their options. There will also be a brand new website for the American States Assembly, where we will post information and provide contact with all the state assemblies. 
As already announced, a help service is now available for those of you who have questions or need help filling out and recording your claim to your good name and estate. Please note, all of you who have been facing difficult recording clerks, there is a portal to contact these wonderful volunteers posted on the front page of my website, www.anavonrights.com. There is also a DIY website, paperupnow.com, to help answer most frequently asked questions and provide helpful templates, examples. The webmaster is offering a sign-up page to help state assembly coordinators who are engaged in organizing actual state assemblies. Again, no foreign commercial corporations or state franchises here. We are working to set up an automated referral site that will address more complex questions and issues for people and hopefully function as a clearinghouse for recording national level paperwork for each state and also help you deal with obtaining travel cards to replace driver licenses and to obtain proper passports. Job one is to educate people and give them the tools to function safely and happily day to day. Job 2 is to form up the actual state assemblies and properly operate the land jurisdiction states of the union this includes organizing the general assembly, the jural assembly, and the executive assembly for each state. Job 3 is to recharter our federal states of states and bring an end to the so-called reconstruction era. Job 4 is to educate ourselves and prepare to convene a long overdue continental congress. So there it is, the road map, for everyone to see. No cops and robbers. No secret agent man hide and seek agendas. No military ops. There's a lot of hard work to be done, and God knows, I never wanted to organize all this, but, it has to be done and done correctly. So here we are. The neighbors, old Mr. and Mrs. Goldstein, saved your dogs and cat and houseplants. George, a soldier home on furlough, crawled through the bedroom window and saved the family Bible and photographs. Jim, a retired IBEW worker who was passing by, organized the Bucket Brigade. Phil, the pastor from First Congregational Church, used his skill as a locksmith to open your front door and give the firemen access. Lucille, your neighbor on the other side of the street, a woman you've never met before, ran around collecting buckets and running water hoses, then made coffee and sandwiches for everyone. Jose, the guy who usually mows your lawn on Saturdays, called up his whole extended family to come help haul your furniture out onto the lawn. They all did this for you out of the goodness of their hearts, so that even if your house burns down, the really important things will be preserved. And that was their only agenda. It's the same with the living law firm and with me, and all the horse manure in China, or Nevada, doesn't change a thing. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more Anna Von Wright's article videos.